scholars, glad to have you back. I got a question today from a couple of my students about a polykinematics problem, and I thought that would make a pretty good video, so here we go. We've got a block here that's being lifted by an arrangement of pulleys. I've labeled the pulleys A, B, and C. A doesn't move, C doesn't move, and B is attached to the block with a rigid link here. That link right there doesn't move, it doesn't change shape. The rope is being pulled through uh, pulley C at a velocity of 21 meters a second. What's the velocity of the block? Okay. Now, the way we solve this problem is the way we're going to solve pretty much all pulley kinematics problems. Now, my students, um, engineering technology students, are long on mechanical intuition. They've, they've generally done a lot to develop their mechanical intuition as they grew up, and their, their tendency is always to look at this and kind of just try to uh, use experience or intuition to tell them the answer. And that's okay, but when you get a problem where you can't use your intuition, and this might be one of them, you better have something to fall back on. So let's learn the process. The process is I'm going to write an expression for the length of this rope, and then I'm going to take the time derivative of it so I can find how the different lengths change with respect to time, because that's just uh, meters per second. That's just a uh, change in uh, length with respect to time. All right, so I'm going to call this, let's call that SA for length A. Let's see, let's call that to write, yeah, it's kind of hard to do this there. We'll call that SB, and that distance from there to there, SC, and this distance out here, SD. Now, this distance is, it goes out to some unknown point. We never actually need to know the, the actual numbers for A, B, S, A, S, B, S, C, and S, D. We're only going to look at their derivatives, so it doesn't really matter that I don't know where the end of this is. I just, there's going to be an end somewhere and it's going around a pulley or a winch or something that's, that's pulling the rope that way. Now there's going to be some arc lengths there that go around the pulley. So there's an arc length A, arc length B, and arc length C. Those don't change with respect to time. So let's write all this out. The length of the rope in total, whole length from here all the way through out to wherever the end of it is, the winch maybe, is equal to SA plus SB plus SC plus SD. Now all those are going to change with respect to time, so I'm grouping those. Plus, there's some other stuff that isn't going to change. Arc length A plus arc length B plus arc length C. Okay? That's the distance around this pulley, around the bottom of that one, and around that one there. Okay? So let's take the time derivative of all of this. Okay. Derivative, there we go. Time derivative. Okay. Well, the time derivative of the length is zero. Length doesn't change. Okay. There's always that much rope out there. Maybe you're winding it around a drum or something, but it's still there. So the length of the rope doesn't change. We're assuming that the rope is inextensible, that it's infinitely stiff along its axis. So zero equals, let's see, the time derivative of A is the velocity of A. So I'm just going to write VA. Time derivative of length B is the velocity of B. Plus velocity C plus velocity D plus the time derivative of all those. Well, the time derivative of all those equals zero as well, so I can stop. So that went to zero, that went to zero, now, now I've got this. Well, looks to me like I have four variables, four velocities, and one equation. That's tough. That's because this is this is 21 meters a second, so I can write in 21 there. Now, now I've got three variables in one equation. I'm just as screwed as I was. Except that, um, what do I know here? If that block's moving up, and this pulley is fixed to that block, SA, SB, and SC change at the same rate. Therefore, all of those each equal V block. So let's do this. Okay, now there's the simple matter of uh, uh, signs. Okay? These ropes are getting shorter, that one's getting longer. So I'm going to call this a negative, and when I push this over there, I'm going to find out that V block equals 7 meters a second. So there you go. Maybe hard to figure out by intuition, by just looking, but not too hard to figure out when you actually run the numbers. 